Mexican Air Force pilots capturing on videotape what are said to be 11, count them, 11 UFOs, unidentified flying objects. They are officially there. Bright objects, some sharp points of light moving quickly across the sky. The tape called historic by some. Members of the Mexican Defense Department saying it's the first time UFOs have had the backing of any country's armed forces. Now, a group of activists calling on the United States government to end what it says is an embargo on the truth about extraterrestrial life. What is that thing on your screen? With us now from Washington is Stephen Bassett, founder and executive director of the Extraterrestrial Phenomena, uh, Phenomena Political Action Committee. Last time he was here, he was running for Congress, was un unsuccessful in that venture. But I will ask you today, sir, the Mexican government, the Mexican military says, hey, we took these pictures. These are UFOs. Um, what was that? Do you know? This is significant for two reasons, um, Shepard. Uh, one, this is released by, by the Defense Ministry of Mexico. This is a message being sent to the United States government that uh, Mexico and many other governments are losing patience with our government's intransigence in ending this embargo. Uh, other messages have been sent by France in uh, 1999 with the Cometa report and by the United Kingdom when they released a substantial number of documents regarding the Bentwaters case in 2000. Many countries know about the extraterrestrial presence, but they deferred to the United States with, uh, with regard to the timing of when disclosure would take place. But they're simply losing patience. How do we know this, by the way? Well, we know it by paying attention. I've been following this now for 10 years. We call it the politics of disclosure, the disclosure process. Hundreds of government witnesses in this country have come forward, uh, and other governments are putting pressure on our government. The media hasn't covered it thoroughly enough, Shepard. If it did, it would learn about some of the things I'm mentioning here, and also learn about thousands of other videos and photographs that have been taken over Mexico by Mexican citizens there's, since There's absolutely no question about that, and his number, thousands, is accurate since 1991. Thousands of pictures and videotapes of discs, but never anything like this taken by such sophisticated cameras on board military vehicles. Oh, there's been plenty of... But not, of, not as clear and widespread as this and government confirmed in this way. I'm just saying that these are unusual. In that oh, no, way. it's happened many times before, but this is the first time it's been released. Believe me, there is evidence like this in the archives of every major first world government in the country, but they release this publicly in a news conference uh, in Mexico City. That's the difference. Studies have been done that, quote, clearly indicate the likelihood of an extraterrestrial explanation. But there are people sitting out there, I'm hoping there are millions of people watching at the moment, who are saying, this is nutty. Why, you know, why, why do we even talk about such things? The polls show otherwise, Shepard. Uh, CNN time, Reuters polls, last 10 years, consistently. 50% of all Americans believe the extraterrestrial explanation accounts for these sightings. Up to as many as 90% of Americans believe the government is outright lying. Uh, the polls are unambiguous. Year after year, the same thing. In fact, if you could talk anonymously to people, even in Congress, probably 50% of members of Congress already confirmed, convinced that the extraterrestrial presence explains this phenomena. Disclosure is at hand. It is very close, and the American people need to prepare themselves very soon for an announcement from our government that there is, in fact, an extraterrestrial presence engaging this planet and the human race. All right. Well, there you have it. This is the Paradigm Research Group press conference after the X Conference 2009 held at the Hilton Gaithersburg. It will be held again in April of 2010. I believe, as I've said publicly on many, many radio and television programs, that the Obama administration, through the nature of who they have appointed and other indications and other information I'm receiving, has made a decision to disclose the ET presence. But that is, of course, an assessment. They are certainly not saying anything. Right? However, the window of opportunity is very, very wide. We are encouraging the administration, which has dedicated itself to open and transparent government, to commit the ultimate act of openness and transparency, and to do it immediately before this truth embargo becomes its embargo, and it has to explain its reasons for delay at a critical time in the human races, uh, how would you say, development on multiple fronts. If it does not disclose, by the end of May, this is not a threat, but the first hundred days plus 30, because I have to admit this gentleman came into a rather extensive array of very profound problems, so we're providing an additional 30 days. If 
disclosure is not taking place. PRG has enormous, has a substantial network and, and quite a bit of documentary evidence uh, connected to this, particularly politically, particularly to the Rockefeller Initiative and the Clinton administration, and we are going to be extensively putting that out to the media. And we're just going to make it as difficult on them as possible. We don't want to, but sometimes that's necessary. And finally, if they choose not to disclose by the end of May and wait, maybe they want June, maybe July, or whenever is convenient, there is a very real possibility, I believe above 50-50, that another nation will in fact act preemptively, not preemptively, proactively on their own and disclose the extraterrestrial presence. And they will wake up and they will pick up the Washington Post or the Washington Times and the headline will read, President Sarkozy of France today will tell the French people about the confirmation of an extraterrestrial presence and provide evidence on the French military files. And we will follow and they will lead. That's what's at issue today. I think it's a pretty big issue. We're getting a lot of calls from Dr. Mitchell to appear on some very fine shows. That may not be possible right away. He has some substantial demands on his time. But believe me, he wants to do those shows and we will do everything we can to service those requests. But I hope those requests will keep coming in after this is maybe faded just a touch out of the, out of the uh, news cycle. I thank you so much for coming today. We look forward to uh, perhaps another press conference, maybe after disclosure, in April of 2010. Thank you. A la misma altura hay unos nubes ahí, se ve de ver esto. Pero a ver, busquen eso que, que viene atrás de nosotros. Ve cómo se ve, se ve como en dos fans. Viene como a las 7, 8 de la posición. Lo raro es que trae una punta adelante. A ver, un puntito adelante. A ver, a ver, ¿qué tenemos? Nada, señor. A ver, permítame, déjale, busco. ¿Y nosotros? Comandante, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué distancia más o menos lo tenías, Tellez? ¿Eh? Oye, te ha... a ver, abusado, eso es como... Ahí van más. Van más, siguen más atrás. Son 10, 11 objetos. Son, como uno, son muchos objetos. Afirmativo. Ahí van. Va, uno. Uno. Y ahí van los atrás. Siguientes. ¿Qué es eso? Dios mío. Se andan correteando. ¿Qué es eso? A ver. Trato de enfocar. El máximo. Ok, no dejes que lo dejes atrás. Ok. Van. Sigue ese, no lo dejes. Este, no, van todos, van aproximadamente Ay, cabrón, como 10. ¿Ya lo dio? ¿Ya lo dio? ¿Qué van pasando? Sí. Tú van a dejar, no, 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 no. Ahí van. Ahí van. 3, 4, 5, 6. Son 6. Abajo o arriba o arriba. En medio, ahí van, ahí van a ir. Uno, eh, dos, tres, a la misma cuatro, altura. cinco. Qué barbaridad. Eh? Ahí se van a ver bien. Y van a una velocidad, pero... Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho en la pantalla. Síguelo, no lo cierres. ¿Están a la misma altura este Tellez? Afirmativo. Un poquito, andé aquí arriba. 8, 9, 10, 11, contando toda la cola. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Ok, no sabemos qué estamos viendo, son unos objetos nada más luminosos que vienen a la misma altura que nosotros. Pero no podemos saber qué distancia. ¿Por qué nos vienen siguiendo?